we're trying to figure out if this is a true or false statement. So how do we do that? Well, um, what we might do is plug in some numbers. We also might uh, compare to the laws of logarithms that we know. Let's try to first pick some numbers and plug this in because this is the log or common log of the base of 10. So if we say that x equals 1,000 and y equals 100, we can get through this fairly quickly. On the right side here, that would be the log of 1,000, which is just 3. 10 to the third is 1,000, and the log of 100 is 2. 10 squared is 100. That would mean this side equals 3 over 2. But on the right-hand side, we'd have the log of 1,000 minus 100, or 900. And if that's not 1 and a half, which is not going to be, uh, right, because 10 to the 1 and a half is not 900. 10 squared is 100, so 10 to the 1 and a half is going to be less than that. Um, we know this is not going to work, right? The 3 over 2 is 1 and a half. This has got to be much bigger than 1 and a half, right? It's much closer to 3 than anything else because 10 to the third is 1,000. It's much closer to 900. So that's not equal. This is a false statement, right? Because clearly these two things aren't equal. Now, what's the true statement? The true statement that they're playing off of here is the log of x minus the log of y equals the log of x over y. That does work. All right, so I hope that helped.